As if the vulnerability of food production, the increased dependency on fossil fuels, and the loss of healthy food weren't enough, the greatest cost is to the ecosystem. As family ranches go under, what happens to their land? Because we're not making money in ranching right now, pretty hard to make the payment on this piece of property, but there's a small corner of it that we could hopefully sell off, and we wouldn't want to sell it off if we didn't have to, but um, to try to stay in this business a little longer, I mean, it seems a logical thing to do. It's not really being used. It's just a small, you know, little five-acre piece. And Over the last uh, uh, few decades, we've seen rampant uh, subdivision of land that was formerly used for grazing uh, and this has uh, resulted in the destruction of wildlife habitat. And then over the course of the last five years in particular there's been a lot of interest in property and homes for second homes. This pressure is being noticed by more than just Lance Bailey at the Planning Commission. Across the valley from Kerry Herman's is the Wolf Ranch. They're one of the larger landowners in the area, and Woody Wolf knows that this pressure is very real. Land values have probably uh, tripled to quadrupled, and that's at the, the smaller parcel. And this trend continues. That's how we get five acre lots, you know, bare lots costing $200,000. Now for agricultural use, you know, five acres is not worth anywhere near that, the best farmland in the entire county. These land prices are being set by the majority. People moving from high land values to areas of relatively low land values. This has consequences for agricultural production. And I've, I've seen it quite a few times. They'll come in and they have no experience, um, but they'll try to run it they'll create themselves a, a, a negative cash flow situation and then then they'll either choose to rent it out, change how they do it, or just resell it. And when they do resell it, usually they mark it up 10 to 30 percent and sooner or later somebody comes and buys it and the same thing happens over again. <laughs> The current real estate model favors fragmentation of the landscape. When a large, contiguous ranch goes on the market, it tends to be broken into smaller and smaller properties. What happens is a once functioning ecosystem becomes fragmented into small, non-functioning pieces. We don't capture water the way we used to. In addition, we see a whole change in the vegetation that's out there. So what we see is that the landscape completely changes. This landscape destruction is one of the major factors leading to widespread extinction of species. E.O. Wilson, a prominent ecologist, estimates that tens of thousands are going extinct every year. Human destruction of the biosphere is being compared to the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. Some estimates predict that 50% of the Earth's species will be gone in this century. If this dramatic and overwhelming mass extinction continues, the entire fabric of life on Earth, including humans, could collapse. So, you know, if we allow all of the rangelands of the West to be broken up into small pieces uh, so that everybody can have their single family home on five acres, uh, we're going to destroy the ecological as well as managerial characteristics that allows us to use those for ranches and allows them to support uh, the wildlife habitat uh, and the wildlife that we expect to find there today.